yeah uh, uh good morning or uh, or uh, good evening everyone uh yeah uh i will briefly present the task one Dazer. uh and uh yeah uh the the task objective for Dazer is uh it's similar to chime six and chime seven uh, uh Dazer. so it's joint realization and transcription of an unsegmenting unsegmented meeting scenario uh, so what does it mean? It means that uh, uh, we can uh, possibly have um, multiple recording devices, but uh, um, this year we have one uh, one scenario with uh, just one uh, recording device. And uh, it means that uh, we uh, participants have to produce the prescription uh, for each speaker with a trans level segmentation and uh, I would say a trans level also speaker attribution. Uh, so it's similar to Chime 6, if you're familiar, or uh, last year, days. Uh, we have uh, participants have to produce a JSON file uh, where uh, uh, each entry is utterance uh, from uh, each speaker with the start time and time, the words, and the speaker uh, uh, ID and the session ID. The session is uh, the, the meeting ID. Uh, the main goal is uh, for task one is generalization. So we want to... Uh, uh, foster research uh, towards robust ASR and clusterization. And uh, the, the, system, the participants ideally uh, have to produce a system that uh, can generalize to arbitrary number of speakers, diverse setting, and by setting, I mean also the, the language style and uh, the conversation style. So more formal or informal uh, depends on uh, the turn taking, for example. Uh, the SNR, so dif different acoustic scenarios, and, and gradually, uh, also the different uh, uh, um, re recording the, um, the device configurations. So this is um, very different, for example, from a task two. Uh, so we want a, a participant to produce systems that can uh, uh, adapt it themselves. Uh, they are agnostic to the, to the array configuration. And this includes also uh, ad hoc array networks and multi-room environments like Chime 6. Uh, the data sets uh, this year are uh, four. So it's uh, the same three as last year. We, we did some changes like a Mixer 6 speech. We uh, re-annotated manually the development set. And uh, we added uh, uh, um, not so far one, uh, which we share with uh, task two. And uh, in particular, we use the multi-channel version. So, uh, on top of these uh, four data set uh, where the participants uh, um, uh, the participants uh, um, uh, performance will be evaluated uh, participants can use for training or uh, development also external data set we have a, a big list this includes also AMI and uh, they can use it for whatever purpose even creating synthetic data sets uh, Let's look at the core data sets. So uh, as I said, it's, uh, we focus on uh, diverse scenarios. And uh, we tried to, this, this year we have uh, a lot of more diversity because of uh, having not so far one. So, uh, which means that the number of speakers can vary quite a lot, like for, from two to eight. And uh, the recording setup, as I said, it varies uh, real a lot. Like uh, Chime 6 is multi-room, uh, there are, they are six linear arrays and uh, four microphones each. And Deepco also, Deepco is single room, they have, uh, 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 it has uh, five circular arrays and uh, not so far one, instead it's uh, uh, just one room, a uh, meeting room and uh, uh, just one uh, um, circular array device. And uh, the meeting duration, uh, crucially varies also a lot from two hours to six minutes. Uh, the task rules are, uh, yeah, we have a, a list in the website, but basically all the rules are uh, towards uh, just one uh, one rationale, which is, uh, uh, yeah, participants uh, uh, must try to not do uh, domain identifications uh, because, uh, um, uh, yeah, because we, um, uh, if, if they do domain identification, it's, uh, it defeats the purpose of the challenge. Uh, we want a participant to produce a system that can generalize. And so having a different system for each, uh, for each scenario, it's not very, uh, uh, very interesting in my opinion. And uh, aside from, from this, participants can also use uh, uh, 
external pre-trained models. So this includes uh, Whisper or uh, Awesome, also pre-trained ASR models or uh, SSL models, etc. There is a few a full list in the in the website. And uh, uh, regarding the tracks, uh, we have uh, two tracks this year, and uh, these two tracks are uh, the same. So the same, uh, the same purpose. So there is no repertorization track, for example. So uh, both tracks, uh, the participants have to use, to uh, to perform ASR and realization, but uh, they differ uh, uh, by the only difference is that uh, uh, on the second track, so the unconstrained CLM track, on top of the, um, the external models, participants can also use another uh, list of external models, which includes the large language models, so Lama, Olmo, or uh, Tiny Lama. Uh, because uh, I, I think it will be also interesting to, to explore this direction now that uh, these models are more and more available and uh, more accessible, like in, especially uh, like in uh, like Tiley Lama should be uh, quite accessible uh, in terms of resources. And uh, uh, on top of these two tracks, uh, this we share with, uh, with the task two. Uh, so, um, if you are familiar with challenges, uh, you may know that uh, uh, almost all the times, uh, you know, the ensemble methods uh, is the one they win. And uh, we want to actually to, to also focus on this direction. So to the best possible result, uh, because, uh, uh, like, uh, because there is actually a good margin uh, in, uh, in, in this particular uh, task to, to just uh, use as much as the resources and see what's, uh, what's the upper bound for the lowest possible uh, word the rate is. But uh, we also want to participants to focus on uh, uh, more efficient uh, methods. So we have a Jarai special award. Uh, the details are in the, in the website uh, for the most efficient and innovative system. And uh, uh, there will be a Jarai nominated by the China committee and uh, uh, from, uh, from experts uh, of the field uh, that will, uh, will review the um, uh, the, the system description paper, and they will rank systems based on, uh, uh, in this order, practicality, efficiency, then second, innovation, originality, and third, effectiveness. So effectiveness is the, the third place. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a, you can think about it like a, another separate track, for example. Uh, so uh, maybe the, the, the winner is not guaranteed to, to win this, uh, this special award. And... Uh, we have uh, two baseline systems this year, uh, one based on NEMO. It's based on uh, last year, last year uh, um, NEMO team submission, and another based on SPNet, which is actually um, uh, based on the last year baseline. And uh, we also provide a Chime Utils Toolkit. Uh, we try to do extensive to do documentation on this for uh, easy data preparation and downloading, as well as scoring. So everything is, uh, should be quite easy to, to download this year, uh, except Mixer 6, which you have to request from NDC, but uh, uh, Chime, Chime 6, um, Deepco, and not so far are, uh, are one line of, uh, one command line uh, away from uh, downloading and uh, preparation. So uh, these two are participants. And uh, about the results, uh, the, um, the two baselines are, have, um, have a different behavior, like uh, uh, the in terms of macro, macro uh, time constraints, minimum permutation order rate, which we use as a as the metric. They are, they are they, they like uh, Nemo is 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 way better, but uh, like for example, in some scenarios, it's uh, uh, SPNet uh, is better because we tune the. It's very difficult to tune the um, the clustering threshold. So SPNet we. Uh, I tried to tune a lot of tra clustering threshold also not so far uh, data. What happens is that uh, uh, then uh, I obtain uh, more, uh, more uh, uh, false alarm speakers on chain six and DIPCO. So uh, yeah, uh, and this we can compare with uh, last year uh, um, results. So of course there was no not so far data, but uh, like for, uh, for SPNet especially on, on DIPCO, the, the uh, yeah the it's way worse the results because of uh, uh, the not so far data uh, adding um, a lot of diversity it's quite challenging.
And uh, yes, the, the, the challenge is basically we have two hours and 20, 30 minutes on one side for speakers. And then on the other side, so we have uh, up to eight speakers and six minutes. It's very difficult for the speaker counting. And uh, if you use a clustering uh, approach, uh, it's very difficult to tune the threshold. So uh, yeah, uh, we have a lot of uh, Mr. Speakers, so not so far one, and a lot of uh, false alarm on Chan 6 and Dico for the spinet. And the Nemo is the opposite behavior, actually. So it's better than Chime 6, uh, a little bit better than um, Dipco, but uh, not so far as worse. And uh, uh, there are way more uh, missed speakers. So uh, to conclude, maybe uh, I want to also to give the bigger picture and maybe uh, give an assist uh, to Alon, which we'll present next. Uh, we we have an, a scenario, not so far uh, one, which is in common with task two, but we have a different um, a, a different uh, uh, end goal, and the the, the 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 basically we want to uh, compare a generalized system, uh, so uh, a system that can generalize in our track with a domain specialized system. In the not so far task, task two, uh, uh, it's uh, it's basically a very domain specialized system with uh, 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 some where participant can train on the on on data from uh, the simulated devices and also uh, with the goal of uh, having the best performance on one device. So there is an interactive leader leaderboard shared with the other task. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. And please, if you didn't do just um, uh, a roll to the Chime Slack, if, if you are interested in uh, task one, task two, or task three, because it's I think it's the best, uh, it's the best um, place where to ask questions and also ping directly as uh, I try to be resp very responsive, so yeah, please do it.